Hi, Vanessa DeBerlay here and welcome to my channel, Affiliate Marketing Mastery, where you can learn to earn a passive income and do it all guilt free. We're going to talk about spam words today that you want to avoid in your email marketing. First of all, what is spam? Here's a definition. Spam is flooding the internet with many copies of the same message in an attempt to force the message on people who would not otherwise choose to receive it. So most spam is commercial advertising. That is why, I'm not going to keep reading that, you can continue, but that is why when you introduce somebody to your email list, you need to give them the opportunity to unsubscribe. Always ask them, if you don't want to keep, if you don't want to continue getting my emails or my newsletter, simply unsubscribe. You don't want to ever force somebody to take your email that would be called spamming and one other tip you went if you have a list of let's say 10,000 people on your list to prevent it from looking like spam don't send an email out to 10,000 people at once you want to send them in small segments and then that'll help as well so that's just an extra little tip but let's look at some words that you want to avoid because the system that you're using the autoresponder that you're using does not want to be known as sending spam they want to um, protect their own integrity and not be known as spammers. So you, they're going to pick up on the spam, the words, and if they feel like you're spamming, they will shut down your account or you know put it on a some kind of a, a a delay or something like that. You know, just shut it down temporarily until you get it fixed. So pay attention to these words, and they're not just. For affiliate marketers, there's um, different ones. So pay attention, it's not just for affiliate marketing. For instance, it's if you're in commerce, be careful of the words you see here, like clearance and amazing stuff. Anything that has to do with shopping, um, there's a sale, no fees, things like that. Those are all spam words. We see them probably as words that people are gonna go, yes, I want that, but those are typically spam words. So you need to be careful. You can say the same thing, maybe if you wanna say something's amazing, plug it into a thesaurus on your computer and see what other words mean the same thing. So you might want to take a snapshot of some of these pages as I go through them. The next one is finance. If you're in finance, these are some spam words that you want to avoid. Cash, credit, lowest price, money back, bargain, US dollars, profit, get paid. All finance words that are going to pick you up as a spammer. So be careful that you don't use these. Let's look at another area, income. Now, you might be an affiliate marketer and you might be on YouTube and saying, work from home, earn an income online, things like that. Well, here you go. You want to make sure you avoid these words. Million dollars. How many times have you seen videos or ads or things saying, you know, I've made a million dollars? And maybe they really did, but it's a spam. It's spam. Or how would you like to earn a million dollars? Make money online. Um, expect to earn this amount. All spam words. Extra income. Insurance. Guarantee. Don't ever use the word guarantee because you can't guarantee anything. So be very careful with that one. All right, let's look at... Um, Marketing, here we go. If you're in marketing, you want to avoid the word add, uh, click to remove, click below, subscribe, search engines, uh, don't delete, mass email and marketing solutions. So be careful of using these spam words. Now, some of these are more general coming up. Um, here, if you're giving something away for free, don't use the word free and don't use any of these other forms of the word free. So again, look up the word free. What is another way I can say it? Look it up in the thesauruses, but free gift, free installation, free grant, free money, um, free membership, free trial. Stay away from the word free. That's a big one that gets picked up. When you have your call to action, typically you want someone to click here, visit my website, um, sign up for free today. See all these words are spam related. Uh, see this first, compare this to that. So stay away from these words. Um, you might, instead of saying click here, you might say um, visit, well, it says visit our website. Um, you might have a, a thumb pointing to it or something like that with the title of whatever it is, PDF checklist, and then have two thumbs pointing to it. And then people kind of figured out that they need to click there. Uh, numbers and offers. Um, Again, um, if you're trying to have a, a prize or you're a winner or things like that, all spam. So make sure you stay away from these the different words. We only have a couple more. Um, food, healthcare, industry. 
if you right away say lose weight, you will be picked up as a spammer or stay in shape or hungry. These are, there's probably a bigger list for um, weight loss. I would uh, actually go Google that. If you're in that industry, there are a lot of words you want to stay away from, but these are just a few of them. And we have one more sense of urgency. While it's good to give people a sense of urgency, you don't want to say only today or time limited act now, get it now urgent. Um, again, these are all will be picked up by the system, the autoresponder that you're using as spam, and sometimes they won't get delivered. So if you're having a problem with your account getting shut down, maybe you need to go back and copy some of these and see if you've been using them and go back and tweak uh, some of your posts. Um, hopefully that was helpful to, for you today. I have two autoresponders here, Active Campaign Actionetics. I've got the links below if you want to check out their free trials. Both systems have free training in them. See, I'm using the word free, um, no cost. Um, but anyway, go in. They have a, a trial period that you can check them out and compare and see which one's right for you. There's a lot of different autoresponders. These happen to be my two favorite. And I do have an affiliate marketing mastery challenge um, that's there and you can see what the fee is. Um, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and I will have a video for you every day.